Let's start from the beginning. As you can see, I have already cut a oil container to our desired shape and its dimension is 16 into 20 cm. To make the motor holder, I take a 40 mm PVC pipe along with some PVC sheet. Then I joined the PVC sheet to the PVC pipe one by one using super glue. After the paint job was complete, it looks really nice. Then I attach a triple five motor in it. To look more attractive, here I am using this fan grill finger guard in front of the cooler. I was not satisfied with this color, so I repainted it. Now it looks really cool. To make cooler window, here I am using PVC sheet. You just follow my procedure. Guys you can see I painted the window yellow and black color and it looks really awesome. Now I will tell you how I painted it. First I painted the top of the window yellow and warped masking tape over it. Then I painted the window black again. After the paint dried I removed the all masking tapes and here is the final results. To make the cooler pad, here I am using this cooler grass, but in your case you can use honeycomb pad if you want, but in my case I am using this cooler grass because it is very cheap in price. Also you can find this in your local store.
For the water supply to the cooler, I will use aluminum pipes that I collected from a 90s TV antenna. And you can see I already put holes in it. Once the nozzle is attached to the pipe, I will use glue gun stick here to block the two sides of the pipe. Alright guys, you can see I made this clamp using PVC pipe. You also can make it very easily. I will install the water level indicator here to make the water cooler more attractive. You can make the circuit very easily by looking at this diagram. Control the motor speed here I will use my homemade DIY regulator. You can make it easily by looking at the diagram. The wiring connections are very simple. You can do the wiring just by following the diagram. Now our cooler is completely ready. At the end, I give it a blue color border for professional look.
when electricity is off don't worry guys you can also run this using a 12 volt battery it is a very useful project in this summer time so okay guys you must try to make this cooler <laughs>